Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Initiative Order and welcome to Vault. This is a Fallout RPG using the 2D20 system by Modifius, set in the Texas Commonwealth, usually in 2177. Our normal, our normal campaign is set in 2177. However, um, if you are keeping current with uh, with our shows, you know that we are doing our origin backstories. They're doing a little bit of a flashback right now as they all have just been laid on their backs. Um, so tonight's tale is actually gonna take place in a little bit of a different um, time period. But uh, yeah, we'll get into that in just a little bit. My name is April Hill. I am the overseer for this campaign and for tonight's game. You can find me at stiletto underscore assassin on Instagram and stiletto DM on Twitter. And of course, here every Monday night playing some Fallout, playing Vault, so in the wasteland. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and introduce our wonderful players. We will start with not Sugar Cyrus. Uh, Calvin, who <laughs> is Jay? Oh, hey, what can I say? It's Jay Casual. You can find me on all social media at just Too casual and Casual Creativity on Twitch. Variety streamer, all-around entertainer, and writer-designer of games for video and TTRPGs. So stay tuned for all kinds of things happening. And today, I am not the rock star ghoul of your dreams. I'm more just a standard, traditional music fanatic like many others, enjoying well, what life pleasures remain. All right. Uh, okay, and of course we have our wonderful guest for tonight's game. Uh, Beth, tell us about you. Hi, everyone. I'm Beth the Bard. Everywhere at it's Beth the Bard. You want the at sign? And I am a TTRPG writer as well, professional dungeon master and writer of She's the Ancient, a gender bent Curse of Strahd guidebook. Uh, tonight I am playing Ashley, the girlfriend from before. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All around cool rock star. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, 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 I mean, she could have made it out. She could have made it like on her own. I mean, just yeah, it's fine. She didn't. She didn't need Calvin. No, no Calvin, need Calvin needed her. Calvin, Calvin needed her. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend. She made sure to let him know like every day too. So <laughs> <laughs> lovingly, of course. <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, let's talk about our wonderful sponsors. Of course, we've got Session Zero Clothing. They make beautiful D&D inspired streetwear where you can use the code order at checkout for 15% off. And if you're watching the social medias today, uh, they just had somebody pretty cool wearing their swag and it wasn't me. I mean, I've got some of it, but it wasn't me. Uh, Xander, hello. Uh, Xander, I mean, if you know Xander, uh, Xander is an amazing TTRPG performer, uh, was modeling some of their beautiful clothes. So go check that out. Awesome. Um, and of course, we've got more Foundry that makes artisan dice, and you can use the code TIO15 at checkout for 15% off. And of course, roaming player gear by our own Got DM, who had a wonderful campaign going, and we hope to have some more shows maybe in the future forevermore, uh, you can use the code uh, CARNABY20 for 20% 20 off our Dice Tower tray combo set. And of course, the wonderful Mithril Armory. They make tenhedrals. They make really cool dice and dice boxes and D&D inspired clothing. And you can use the code INITIATIVE uh, over there for a nice little discount uh, for um, some of their stuff. So. Yeah, you're gonna to wanna to check that out. And of course, if you like what you see here and you wanna support the initiative order, we do appreciate your bits and your subs. Those uh, That money goes toward keeping our streams running. Uh, and we also donate money to various charities throughout the year as funds built up in that account. And of course, if you are enjoying the performers, here tonight and on all of our shows, you can look at the Ko-Fi link below. Uh, I will also post that in chat. And everybody says it different, Ko-Fi, coffee. coffee. It is Ko-Fi. I would like to um, just put that out there. 
<laughs> okay, good. See, we're on the same page. Uh, so yes, if you want to drop some tips into uh, into our Ko-Fi account, we do split those tips at the end of the night. If we make any, um, yeah, we really appreciate that because we love performing for everybody. And this is a lot of fun playing and sharing our stories with you. So, all right. Um, I guess uh, any other announcements we do have, uh, I will go ahead and say that we do have some amazing streams coming up that we are doing in December, um, in the middle of December on the 10th, 11th, and 12th, I believe it is, of December, where we will be doing um, different games. One of them will be uh, Fallout. We will be doing holiday games, holiday one-shots, to raise money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. So be uh, so stick around for that. Check our socials for that, because there's going to be some really fun games, uh, and you can help raise money for the kids. It's one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, donations uh, and organizations to give to. So, yeah. Uh, any Anything else we got announcement wise that you can think of, Jay? Nothing in particular. All right. Well, then, without further ado, everybody grab a drink, grab something to snuggle, whether it be a loved one or pets or just a blankie or a pillow, and let's get a little wasted. Y'all will give us just one moment. We haven't had technical difficulties in a minute, but we're having them right now. So just hold on tight. We'll be back in just a second. Enjoy the lovely music while you wait. Thanks.
and we're switched up that I could fix real quick. All right. Um, no, my overlay. Uh, so, uh, sorry about that. We just had a couple of technical issues. You know how it is. It's like, it's on our one year anniversary, of course. So, uh, one year ago, we started this wonderful campaign. And of course, if you were with us then, you know that we had technical di difficulties uh, for starting out. And then we stopped having them. And then, of course, like, we had to have them on our one year anniversary. It's wonderful. Oh, it's how you know it's one year. year. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's how you know it's been one year. Jay is the overseer now. Yeah, I had to switch everything around. It would make sense because Jay's wearing the vault suit. Um, overseer Jay. <laughs> that would be a fun time. We should do that. We should have you run a one shot Just sometime. Run, you know what? We'll put on the, we'll put on the calendar. Yes, yes. All right. Um, so thank you for, for sticking with us. So the year is 2075 that's right two years before the great war two years before the bombs fell and the face of our planet was transformed forever not only transformed wildlife it not only transformed the way things, uh, the way people lived, but it also transformed people. But that's for a later story. Right now, right now it's two years before the Great War. Of course, we do have the Sino-American War going on and um, things are pretty hostile all over the planet, but for the most part, people are doing okay. They're living life and going about business doing their everyday thing. And uh, we see a young Calvin Harrison at home with his parents. Calvin just turned 18 not too long ago. And uh, in Calvin's family, that means something very special. Hey, uh, huh. Well, could be uh, graduating soon, getting out of the house. You know yeah. what that means, right? Yeah, I know what it means. You haven't stopped talking about it for the last four years. Every father's dream, though, Calvin. Like, every father's dream, like, especially me being a military man myself. Yep, turn 18, finish school, and go right into basic training. You know, I mean... It's what this country needs right now. Calvin, you know that. There's there's a lot of hostility in the world and resources being what it, the way they are. It, you can make this family proud. Yeah. Making sure you're proud. That's all I'm here for. I mean, I know you love your music and whatnot, but you know they've got bands and they've got bands in the military you can join up you know if you can join the air force you know they've got their air force band you can play music and still serve if you'd like but the way things are you might not get to play as much as you'd like but you know yeah it's a wonderful compromise either way i serve just like you did forget music entirely right well i mean it's it's a nice enough hobby it's nice enough hobby and stuff, but you can't make living off something like that, Calvin. You know that. I mean, I know your mother, you know, she she supports you and your music and whatnot, but you're eight, you're 18 now. It's time to time to be a man. Yep. Of course. Because if I want to do something different, it's never been what fits in the plan, right? Well be a hobby you know I, i've got a recruit i've got a recruiter coming over later today you know get your paperwork signed walk you through everything you can uh you know ask them more questions then really yeah. excited about it sure yeah we'll, we'll talk with the recruiter we'll get it all figured out get it all set up you hear a knock at the door and in walks one of your good friends, for the most part, Trevor. 
Hey, hey, uh, Calvin, how's it going? Uh, uh, Mr. Harrison? It's, um, it's, it's good. Uh, if the recruit is coming later, is it cool if me and Trevor just hang out for a while, Dad? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, you've got, you've got plenty of time. Uh, no rush or anything. Yeah. Go spend some time with your friend. All right. Um, uh, let's go, uh, Trevor. All right. See you, Mr. Harrison. Right, yeah, it seems like in a good mood, dude. Yeah. Well, he's getting a recruiter sent up to get me all ready so I can go off to basic training as soon as I graduate. Ugh, that's rough, dude. Yep. Um, Straight from cap and gown to camouflage. Well, at least your parents kind of care about you, you know, dude? Like, I mean, like mine just want me to go to school and become some fancy something or other, just somebody that make money. I mean, yeah, it's good in theory. Like, well, you gotta make money and stuff, so. Yeah. But I don't think I can do it. What do you mean? I mean, how you, you, dad's like got a recruiter coming over and, you know, like. I know, but like, do you remember sophomore year, that talent show? Yeah, we yeah. Just grab her. The whole crowd loved it. Our music was amazing. And, and then the following year, when I got to do that elective, despite my dad wanted me to do more PT, I got to do music and I love just performing and hearing the sounds and I getting the girls. Lot. Yeah, getting the girls. You know, that's not always what it's about, but it's not a bad benefit too. But I'm not gonna be able to get that if I stick to this plan my dad's got. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Like, tell him no? <laughs> I don't think your dad's one to take no for an answer. No, he's uh, definitely not. Um, uh, telling him no equates to being grounded and running miles for punishment. It's the only parent I know that instead of trying to lock me in my room, forces me to do more physical activity. But no, I, I want to finish school and all and be with my friends, but as soon as I graduate, there's no way around it. But I, there's this music festival that's supposed to happen out of state. It's an open sign up and everything. I mean, that sounds cool and all, but like, I, I mean, I gotta spend. I gotta finish school. You know, my parents would chase me down. I don't think I could run fast enough from them. I mean, plus you know I got my girl. So yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right. It's it's a wild idea anyway. <laughs> Just running off to go play music. It's a it's a dream, right? I mean, I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to be a rock star, <laughs> making all that money, touring around, different girl every night. I mean, it'd be wild, right? Like it'd be exactly. Come on, like you got you got your girl because of the music. I mean, you know, if, if we were to, you know, like ever get famous someday, I mean. You know, she's nice and all that, but you know, she can't tie me down. You know, especially, I mean, like, people need to know, like, I need to spread this love around. That's the idea. Like, music brings passion, so we can just take that passion and, in your case, you can uh, give that passion, but like, we can, we can be free. Right? Yeah. We're gonna graduate soon. If only. I mean, it's soon. I'm. I'm not saying you should do it, but I'm finding less reason to not go. I mean, like thinking about running away or getting out of here, like skipping town. I mean, you got a recruiter coming over. Once you sign the paperwork, your ass is theirs. Like if you run. 
You get in serious trouble for that, man. Yeah, that's why I have to get out before the recruiter gets here. Well, I mean, if you're serious about this, maybe, like, maybe you can come over to my place and I'm gonna say we're gonna go hang out at my place and play some music and you'd be back later. Yeah. Just... You'd, you'd be doing the cover for me with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't have to know, like, by the time you're out, you know, if they come looking for you, be gone. I'm glad you said that, because if, if I'll be honest with you, I already got my book, bus ticket out of here. You that serious, man? I can't, I can't do that. I can't. My dad has always wanted to meet his, his military boys. He's got this idea that I'm going to be a soldier just like him, but that's not me. It'll never be me. I don't even like violence. I, I hate, I hate shooting. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen when your dad's taking us out to the shooting range that kind of, yeah, I can, I can see it makes you kind of tense. <laughs> tense is putting it lightly, but you know, if you could just, we'll just hang out at your place for a while and then I'm just going to take hit the bus and just be away. And then just, if dad asked to say, I went probably just going to, it was heading back home. I wanted to even tell mom, but Lord knows if she finds out, she'll cry to dad that I'm not being safe. And then I might as well secure my fate there and lock myself away until it's time. So I, I gotta just go. Yeah. Yeah. I get you, man. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll cover for you as, as long as I can. I'll help you get out. Hey, you know you're my best friend, right? Forever, man. Forever. Hey, nothing's gonna stop us. Besides, if this works out, I'll be a rock star, and that way you can leave school and then join me after, right? You better be hitting me up. You know you got to. You know you need. You are never gonna find a keyboardist as good as me. Hey, I'm just saying. Most people want to be guitar player so it is hard to find as much as a drummer and as one hit the keyboard those are two things that are hard to find so you're definitely a rare one yeah. um, we should probably go now get that all sorted out because oh, dad's gonna want me under his eye all the time getting re training ready yeah all right um all right uh so the two of you uh, walk out, um, you're able to convince, you're able to convince your father uh, to have one, uh, just a, a nice afternoon of uh, friendship and music and that you'd be back later in time to meet the recruiter. However, once at Trevor's house, you get the okay, you hit the road, you hop on that bus and you take off to the music festival on a new journey, on a new path, and a new life. On the road, um, it takes you, it takes several hours, um, several, several hours to, to finally get there. But once you get there, um, uh, there are people camped out everywhere. There are there are vans, there are tents, there, this music festival will be going on for a full week. Everyone's really excited. There are musicians from all over the world and indie musicians from all over, all over the country, not world, um, that are there playing their music. And you are able uh, to uh, find a place to get a little bit of rest for the next day's festivities. Um, and the next morning after getting a little bit of rest, uh, there are bands already on stage, music playing, um, bands playing, and you've got your guitar there with you. And 
there are people dancing, there are people selling things and buying things, um, just different trinkets and treasures and people playing music, even not on stage and various little, um, various little pods all throughout the festival. And there are people uh, cooking food and laughing and everything seems so happy and you feel the most in your element that you ever had in your entire life. You kind of like shyly be walking around since this is a brand new environment. Being always in a suburban area, this amount of people, this nature is overwhelming. But we'll kind of like walk around tightly holding the guitar, like visibly like a little nervous, just holding it tightly and kind of like nodding to people like, I'm going to try to find a group to kind of try to blend myself in to try and socialize the best way I know, which is just being there. Uh, so walking around, looking at all of the all of the musicians playing, there are some bigger bands that are up on the stage, but then you come across, walking through the crowd, you come across a little pod of, of, of people gathered around listening to music and you see um this beautiful young full of life and energy guitar player belting out uh these beautiful chords with some of her friends and uh ashley would you like to describe your character and what calvin sees um, so yeah, Ashley is, um, there with some friends, um, you can tell she's very passionate about music, um, plays the guitar pretty well, um, I think, maybe, uh, and just kind of seems really free, um, has probably been away from home for a little while and is just vibing and dancing, singing, um, maybe along with friends. Um, yeah, kind of catches sight of um, Cyrus, right? Calvin. <laughs> Calvin. Calvin. Calvin at the time. Calvin. Calvin. <laughs> we kind of approach the group and just getting closer to like listening and almost like entranced and just the energy of the area, still holding the guitar like really tight to the chest, just like hugging it, getting closer and just listening and like tapping along with the rhythm. Kind of swaying and like, nunca suficiente para mi, porque siempre o quiere mas de ti. And just flowing in a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of English, swaying to it. Have you seen the brightest side of me? Mi corazón es tu. And once I see the sunrise, yo pienso en eso. Uh, sorry, I really like the rhythm. Well, come on in and join us. Um, you alone here? Yeah. I, uh, I, I came a pretty long way to be here. So tell us about it. Like, I mean, people don't just come to these music festivals, you know, for no reason. Obviously, there's some sort of passion or um, goal. I mean, music is life. It, <clears throat> I mean, like music feels like, um, okay, that's not right. Uh, sorry, I'm. Uh, I'm, my name is Calvin. Uh, I left home because some people had plans for me and music had a different plan. And I thought to come to the one place where music was gathering to see if what plans it has in store for me. Yeah, that sounds about right, actually. So you'll fit right in. Like, so pretty much the same as most of us here. I mean, It'd be nice to have a group. I've been wandering for the greater part of a few hours with no idea what I'm doing. 
you know what you do I like turn to somebody else or with you know what you're doing I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> Oh, uh, and Mark, uh, Mark, your bass guitarist, who, uh, because you, you dabble, you dabble and, and um, have uh, dreamed of really forming a band and playing at these music festivals. But, um, but yeah, you'll usually just play around as a group. And you've got, of course, uh, Victoria, who plays drums. Um, she's got her set, uh, one of her little kits out, and uh, she's been playing uh, percussion for you with music but Mark is like yeah man like we just come to these festivals and they're really they're it's real fun it's we get to meet all these other musicians and uh yeah it just feels good to be out here I'd love to love to go see the world and you know get on get on the road be it's my dream anyway. I'll be honest. Playing people. That's, that's a similar dream. I'm, I was stuck in my town for my entire life. Most amount of travel I ever got was to the park with my dad to go run 10K every other day. Oh, military brat, huh? And Victoria stepped up. Yeah, my family, uh, military background too. Ugh. Yeah, uh, between you and me, I left just before the recruiter was supposed to come for me to sign paperwork. So, uh, here I am, technically dodging the military. So your parents were like forcing you to join the military instead of like, like did they know that you liked to play? Well, they both knew. My mother was in support of it, but Dad comes from a family of military and as his only son, it, all the pressure was on me to do the same. So you didn't sign anything, right? Because you know no. they, if you sign it, they gotcha. They yeah. will come after you. That's what my uh, my best friend back home said. And so I, so I left before the recruiter showed up. I literally bought a bus ticket, got on and got here and I've got like pulls out like some coins. I have less than a dollar left to my name now, but. You wanna be a musician. And Ashley goes and like pulls out a permanent marker and is like, just holds out her arm and is like, here, sign on the dotted line and you can uh, sell your soul to music instead. Oh, I mean, all right. That's somewhere I'd be willing to sign and like grabs it and like hands a little shaky. Like, sorry, I'm still not used to this much social energy but and then starts to like sign on the arm like all right uh it's cute so are we like a band now a band <laughs> i mean the close i had to a band was my 10th <laughs> grade talent show uh, you'd have me i'd be, I'd be so i'd be grateful uh, yeah, you signed your soul over, by the way. This is a, <laughs> this is a legally binding. Yeah, Honestly, we're a band now. I'd rather sell my soul to this band to the military, so I'll, I'll take it. And uh, you will see uh, some Mark kind of like nudges your arm a bit and kind of like whispers in your ear, she never let me sign her arm like that. She must like you or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, I will like nudge back hyper aggressively. <laughs> no, no, huh. Um, what? um, so, uh, I guess, or, um, what do we do now? I, I didn't think this part through. Well, it seems well, like we play. Yeah, people throw tips in our, uh, in the guitar case, you know, we're not big on the stage or anything yet, but one day, you know, enough people gather out, we've got a pretty good crowd tonight, like, Today, a lot of people joining around us and making a couple of bucks. So, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm not the best guitar player. I'm, a, I actually, I'm a writer. That's where my passion is. So, it's pretty much where my best stuff is in general. Well, that works. We need a writer. Um, these guys aren't so great at it. Hey, like my lyrics are really slapping. That's a thing, right? Slapping. I don't know. Would it be a thing in 20? 
1475. No, that's not true. That's a good question. Right? <laughs> we the term is that. fetch. We can make the term fetch happen. <laughs> Maybe by 2075, fetch, fetch will be a thing. <laughs> that's oh my fetch. God. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I have a strange style. Uh, it's a little more um, West Coast rhythm than normal. So I, hopefully, if you don't like it, obviously you can at any point tell me you don't like it, that you hate it, and I will uh, definitely throw it away. So show us what you have. Like, obviously it's going to be, I mean, you signed either way, so. Um, okay. Um, it's not done. I just kind of got the rhythm started for uh, this one I was writing on the bus here. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna uh, uh, start. Uh, <clears throat> just. You. <clears throat> you got this. I feel a shake in my heart. It's tearing me apart. I feel it quick to the ground. In a brand new town. So you feel it in your chest better than the rest then you break through break through the wall and then you break through you break through the ground and you say this is this is the rhythm that i spit this is the moment that i live in this is the way that i want to be this is the way that i see i fly to the sky and i always wonder why but i'm never gonna quit till the day that i say oh snap like a snap I feel it down in my bones when it's come to shatter. I know what I do when it comes to matter. I'm breaking through the lines, breaking through the veils. I'm breaking through the rhythm, but I never separate, obliterate. Then I step back for a moment and I breathe. I step back and I'm being disbelieved. And I step back and that's all I got right now. Dude! It, it's just get figuring out the, the rhythm, but just got the words gathered. <laughs> I just reach out and put a hand on his arm. That was amazing. You're in. Can you sign my arm too? Just kidding. You know, I'll just sign my arm. It's fine. Oh, as, as Calvin like started to reach for a look for a pen. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, this is, this is great. I, uh, I never really get to perform much for people outside of <laughs> my mother and my best friend. So Where's your, you. where's your best friend? He didn't want to come with. He wasn't forced to do military. He, uh, his parents wanted him to go to school and do something relevant, doctor, lawyers, whatever. So he stayed back. Mm -hmm. He had time to figure it out. I had less than eight hours to get out. Well, I don't understand how music isn't relevant, but um, sounds like I have a vastly different home situation than, than you had. So um, that really sucks. And sorry about that. How grateful. You have no idea. I, as cheesy as this might sound, I am uh, for the first time in what feels like my life. I'm excited for what comes next. Yeah, that was, that was cheesy. I know. I'm sorry. I... No, that is, I mean, I mean, look around you. Look at all these people. Does anybody look like, does anybody even look stressed around here? Look, we're all just playing, I... joyful, making a little money here and there. Kind of like kick the guitar case. And, and a couple of people will uh, uh, walk past, um, and kind of uh, gesture at Calvin and toss a couple of pre-war bucks in, some paper dollars in there. Did I just make money playing music? You just made money playing music. I guess that makes me a professional musician now, right? <laughs> Grab it, that, that one's yours. That's, that's, that's his, right? We're gonna, we're gonna split, take that, pick it up. Yeah, that was, that was totally easy. And like looks at it real like and you can start to see like the tear already forming in his eyes. 
wipes with the money. Sorry, I... This is what I've always wanted. And I just... I didn't think it was possible. Look at um, that, you're only like 10 minutes in. Think of what tomorrow's gonna be like. And now well, you know you can't spend that 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 first dollar, right? You know you have to save that one. That's the first one that you ever made as a real musician. You know what? Um, I, I actually, I have sometimes in the downtime at uh, our military training at school, just hold on, sets the guitar down and like turns away and starts doing something with the money. After a few moments, turns around and has folded the dollar bill into like a heart. Yeah. I learned origami. It's one of the hobbies I picked up. So if I can't spend the first dollar, might as well make it mean something, right? Yeah, that's pretty cute. Um, I, I like start folding mine. Like, um, eh. uh, uh, no, um here. And then like, like kind of instinctually like. What a bad like, one. <laughs> and then takes it. There's no, I learned there's no such thing as a bad fold. Everything's beautiful if you believe it is. It's a three-headed bird. Look at it. I mean, I learned about Greek mythology and Cerberus was a good boy, so maybe this is a good bird. Fair enough. Hey, like those, those kind of things, it reminds me of like those things that you put the, what is it? What is it they, they do at the birthday parties? They put the, put the candy inside and people whack at it. A pinata. pinata. Yeah, they make those things out of paper, right? Like it's paper. Uh, it's and like a it's like a paper mache type thing. Yeah, but yeah, essentially paper, just a lot of it. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot. And you know, origami, paper mache. I love. I don't know, playing with paper and folding and the things you can do with it. So it's been a fun thing. Maybe we can work that into the act somehow. Yeah holding up the dollar bill like, could be like a branding like, thing i don't know what do you guys think like a, a yeah, paper mache it, thing really, yeah we haven't really come up with a name yeah man like that that's how that's how bands make their names just by random like events in their lives and stuff that's cool and unique to them all right i mean i i don't have a problem with paper mache but i feel like it's a uh, i don't know can be cheesy yeah, but so is being a full-time musician, so... You're right. I actually should lean into campy. Embrace it! Well, if we're going to embrace it, I don't know. Holding up the dollar bill, like, shaped like a heart. I mean, this is the most important thing to me so far, so... We can... It's like a paper mache heart. I like that. Yeah! That, that sounds really cool. It rolls off the tongue. Ooh, I like that a lot. We can make t-shirts. Oh, really colorful. Oh, yeah. That'd be so cool. I do you like the screen printing? I want to do like the screen printing. <gasps> we need colors. What are our colors? Um, I mean, green and something, I guess. Pink? Obviously. Pink. Yeah. I have a problem yeah. with a little pink in there. I mean, we're rockers. Obviously, we need a little bit of black or something, right? So well, obviously, like, it's going to be mostly black. Like My dad yeah. always makes a joke that the only, that being a rock star is pretty much lighting things on fire. So. We could do that, too. I like that. Like, it's on fire. A little origami heart on fire. Yes! That sounds like the most rock and roll thing ever. Ashley's already like sketching it out on her arm. And nothing says, let's forget the system, than lighting money on fire, right? Mm. Wait, 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 don't light the money on fire, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Stash metaphorically, it. we metaphorically light the money on fire. Because yeah. we're not in it for the money. I mean, you know. We need the money, but we're not in it for the money. Money's nice. 
not necessary. It's necessary. It's not, it's important. It's not our goal, right? Yeah. See, look at that. We just needed another team member, guys. We got this. Just, just took 10 steps forward. Boom. I feel like we're a real band now. This is awesome. We're You're the missing element that we didn't even know we needed. That's pretty sweet. I'm, whew. I'm like nervous, but like not scared nervous anymore. Now I'm just excited. You want some new Coca-Cola? Call me right down. Or it oh. might actually, it might like get your nerves up a little bit more. It's, it makes me a little bit jittery, but no, I mean, it's good for the drums. I actually carry my own cup. If, I'll take some if you pour it. Okay. It doesn't have alcohol in it. Oh, that's I mean, good. but I can get you some if you want some. I actually, uh, I don't, I don't drink. Oh, okay. And she will pour you a cup. It's kind of cool. I haven't met very many people here who also don't really drink. So, um, that's yeah, no. a first. Is uh, that like a, what, what's the reasoning behind that? Well, I, I mean, I tried to go to high school parties and everybody was drinking and I just wasn't for it. I mean, my dad is a, um, a whiskey a day, he keeps the doctor away type of person and mom enjoys a glass or two of wine, but water, soda, and juice is my life. Well, that's cool. So we're gonna be hanging out when these guys are, you know, doing their thing. I'll look over and some of them are already like <laughs> and and you will see that she uh, that victoria is like pouring now that she has given uh calvin some of the untainted nuka-cola she is pouring some vodka into her the rest of her nuka-cola bottle well i'm not gonna lie this might be why nothing has gotten done as far as branding goes and just that strategy uh it's planning. fair I mean, I'm grateful that there's someone else that's not going to divulge. I felt like I was going to be the weird one who's sitting in the corner drinking water while everyone else is partying. Nah, you got me. We'll hang out. It'll be cool. I don't know. It doesn't even affect me anyways. Like, I've tried some before and doesn't, like, has no effect on me. I don't know if it's, like, the Irish side or what, but, um, yeah, no, we'll just, um, hang out and, I don't know hash out new ideas and things if you're in yeah i've got a notebook full of ideas uh i'd love to share them and see what we can do to make it happen it'd be nice to not just have only my guitar riffs well cool because i have um my own set of lyrics and things and um you sound like you know what you're writing so i'd like your feedback if you're interested in that as well as Calvin's already pulled out like a little journal that you could tell is too thick because there's been paper jammed in there, been pulled out, put back in, folded pieces, scribbled on. Yeah, now I'm, uh, I'm definitely ready to get some creative juices, some some thoughts, some thinking, some some writing done. Fantastic. <laughs> and then Calvin is going to show the writing so far. So take and pouring over it, flipping, flipping, just reading quietly, like a <laughs> little bit of feedback once in a while. Oh, this is good. This is amazing. Flip, 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 silent for probably too long as I'm looking and, and scouring so over things. Ripping <laughs> and nerves as Calvin's just. <laughs> and you can start to smell. Um, there's a very distinct smell on the wind and uh, a little bit of fog cloud starts to creep over into y'all's uh, where you're sitting and, and exchanging notes and you can look over and Mark has lit up um, a pretty fat one uh, and is passing it around to some of, uh, some of the, the uh, festival goers and is um, just chilling on the grass. It's kind of like wafting over toward y'all. Uh, Calvin will not notice at first because Calvin has not been around it enough to immediately recognize. So I'm like, mm. oh, Ugh. that's a strong smell. Do you partake in that? What is that? Just, you know, a little grass. Why are they burning grass? 
Oh, oh, on. Oh no. Okay. Um. Oh, you're a sweet new little thing, aren't you? Is is burning grass a thing? I mean, I know I had some classmates that kind of <laughs> did like, that. Take him by the arm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on over. We like join. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Yeah. And we'll kind of go over and follow. Okay, so Beth is frozen. Oh no! I was like, I, we, your audio isn't frozen, but your video is frozen. Is it going to mess everything up if I stop my video and start it back up again? Uh, I, I, no, it's fine. It's fine if you do that. I can always rearrange it. No big deal. It just keeps making. Why does it keep making? Jay, this is this is this is a sign that you're going to have to be an overseer at some point <laughs> for a campaign. Oh, I love it. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm almost there. Sorry. Okay. Um, this is called a oh. casual takeover. <clears throat> it, it, it wants you to. It wants you to be the overseer. It just keeps putting you. <laughs> um, Okay, yeah, you're good now. Uh, so, uh, so you you both go over and sit on the lawn with the circle. Yeah, like I was like, sure. I mean, people burn grass, and it makes things weird. So I guess I'll check it out. So you go over. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, yes, and you sit down, and you notice. There's no grass burning, but they are passing around. Uh, I mean, you've seen people smoke cigarettes before. Um, it's not very common anymore, hopefully, in the year 2075. Uh, but, but, but yeah, so you see that, but it's not nicotine, and they're just kind of passing it around, and then it eventually gets to you. Um, I don't, I don't like the idea of tobacco. Am I supposed to? Not tobacco, just, you know, have you ever smoked anything before? Um, I once did a deep smoked chicken on the grill and got too close to it, inhaled that. Okay, so pretty similar, maybe. Um, yeah, just, um, you know, give it, give, it, give it a try. And hold it a little bit before you let it out. Okay, and it, <laughs> Calvin will take it in both hands, like pinching both, like, okay. And then as a movie would, we'll just take a deep one because it's like, oh, like the chicken. Just... Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe not like that, but. <laughs> <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and then like tries to pass it to someone. Do I, or do I again? Oh, okay. And then I'll demonstrate how to do it. <laughs> Although I don't actually know how to do it in real life. So I'm not going to try to act that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, close enough. correct technique <laughs> and then like <laughs> blow out like a, a cute little ring just like into his face <laughs> just like <clears throat> yeah, yeah like um... that try again <clears throat> okay mm. oh no <laughs> tries to mimic the technique okay uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You did it. Okay. Ish. Beautiful. Okay. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh, oh. my gosh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Victoria. Victoria's ribbing Mark, like pointing over, and just they're kind of like giggling, watching this transpire. And then pass it over. I, like take another okay. one, real quick. Pass it off, and then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna sit with you and. See how you are doing with that. Well, um, I do a lot of running, so lungs are good. Oh, okay. Sure. sure. Go ahead and roll 2d20 for me. Yeah, that sounds oh, all right. no. <laughs> uh, that's a 10 and a what? 9. Uh, what is your... Hmm. What's your perception and your endurance? I'm just curious. Four. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 
all my okay, second four except for charisma and luck. So that's right. So your tongue is starting to tingle. Your hands are starting to tingle and your feet, and then it crawls up your feet into your legs. And then you get this, this tingling sensation in your, in your tummy and, um, everything is just a little bit more colorful and bright everything the sounds um you can hear everything a little bit clearer and you still have that burning in your throat a little bit but you feel relaxed <laughs> and everything seems really just kind of funny but awesome and you're very hungry <laughs> how you doing over there Huh? Hi. Uh-huh. Hello. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Um, do I have anything? I'm gonna say I have something. I like pull out, um, some crisps. Uh, yeah. Crisps. <laughs> yeah, potato. Is uh, that yeah, future term for like potato chips? <laughs> um, they, yeah, they uh, one of the one of the one of the foods is a is potato crisps. So it just sounded yeah. yes, crisps. I know. <laughs> like, would you like some crisps? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I will like start to and grab and goes. They're so salty and the crunch and the texture are unlike anything you've ever put in your mouth before. So, have you ever, and then takes like a bunch, <laughs> I'm so crunchy. Mm. It's like drums in my mouth. Drums in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. Congratulations. Like <laughs> Grass is nice. Grass is nice. It's so nice. Mm. I have ideas. And we'll like take the book and start writing down things. <laughs> just write. You're just drawing circles. <laughs> what are you trying to write? Okay. <clears throat> because... Uh, <clears throat> We think the grass is greener on the other side, but we don't know that the grass is greener inside. We keep looking, we keep searching, we keep on going, but we keep on flowing. Cause the grass, it gets greener, life gets meaner, but you don't live life as an in-betweener. <laughs> Betweener. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put that in the comments. Like, that would be very popular right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take his notebook and start writing down what he's actually singing. Like, okay, okay, these are this is this is not bad stuff. We need like actual. I'm like gonna. I'm I'm holding a little bit better than you are. Just start yes. like. You feel the crisp, the crunch, and you go the brunch. You munch, you march, <laughs> you keep going forth, and you see. The sky, it's blue, it's true. And we dance to the stars. We dance so far. But let it be something steaming in the car. Ooh. I mean, um, as like Calvin said, that looking over Ashley then looks away. I mean, words and things and song and stuff. And I'm, uh, takes more chips. Mm -hmm. Call this one words and things. <laughs> Um, and the day, the day is growing, uh, going on and, uh, you sit and you write and cut up and get to know one another and, um, just feel and experience, uh, everything around you, the sights and the music and the smells and everything that's new here. And, um, it's starting to, the sun is starting to set and the stars are starting to come out and the sky is changing to that beautiful, um, orange and purple and pink color. And you can start seeing a little bit of a smattering of stars in the sky as it gets darker and a little bit chiller um, and colder. And you can start to hear faintly one of the stages 
um, just off in the distance, there is somebody playing a very beautiful uh, light ballad. It's a rock, it's, a, it's still rock and roll, but it's a rock ballad that's got more of a slow, um, beautiful beat to it. Just on the wind. Mm. This is nice. It is. All of this is it's like a dream. One that I know I'm not dreaming. I hope I'm not. But it's. I pinch him really hard. Yep, no, that was real enough for this not to be a dream. You're good. <laughs> I lie because I would be so upset to wake up from this. Oh, it's. I'm, I don't know, it's. This feels like home. Close the notebook. Hand it back. I, just, uh, I am not good with words. Uh, only when You're actually making, quite good with words. Only when it's music. I'm talking is harder for me. That's okay. I mean, talking is pretty easy for me, so. I'm glad you can uh, probably do enough talking for the both of us. I'm... Writing is easier. Music is easier. But talking to people? I just get so nervous at the thought of that. You're talking to me, so that's pretty nice. Talking to you is easy. You make it easy. I mean, not, not that you're easy, but like it's easy. Uh, uh, <laughs> you called me easy. <laughs> I mean, like, like being around I scoot you closer is, is easy, and like no, um, I don't, mm -hmm. you're comfortable. I'm comfortable around. I feel. Um, hi. Um, can we rewind? Um, it's hot up here. Uh, mm, You're uh, nervous. I'm not nervous. You're all flustered. No, this is, this is just me. Naturally, I, um, you're just, um, you're really pretty, and also, um, do you know when you when you tune your guitar to the right like chord combination for when you want to play like a really good rhythm, and you strum all the, the chords and you get the perfect sound of a perfect tuned guitar? Mm hmm You make me feel that moment. Not bad for a uh, you know hanging out for an afternoon. I still got it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you you got things. You, you got you st stuff and things. Oh my god, I could just sit and watch this all night. And then I like lean forward and give him a kiss on the cheek just to like see what happens. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> This is delightful. I am having so much fun. Um, okay. Okay. Um, you know, I remember in training, there's like a, there's very specific rules uh, when training. Um, rules of engagement is act first before it's too late, and then Calvin goes in to just kiss. But like, we'll miss and go for a cheek because Calvin did not prepare mentally. Just kind of turn <laughs> and just kind of a cheek and then go like. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you missed. And then I just like full on. And then Calvin does a whole arm <laughs> to the side for a moment. And then finally lifts hands up to like the shoulders and starts kind of like embracing. And then in a moment, kind of softly pulls away. And it's like, I am. Um, Okay. I feel like you should know. Um, <clears throat> I 
that was um that was my first kiss oh you are so sweet um well yeah i mean it seems like you might have to keep practicing so uh we'll have to just work on that i would definitely like to uh keep practicing and then Galvin this time slowly will go in for a kiss instead of the rushed one. Just settle in that musical moment. <laughs> Letting everything wash away. And uh, as you share this kiss, um, Victoria comes over. Oh my gosh, get a room, you two. Or get up and dance, come on. <laughs> hey, well, I mean, like... Uh, dancing? <laughs> dancing is something I can do. It's less words, less talking. All right, well, come on. Stand up. Like, And then, now that they're standing, how we will actually, like, take, like, lead and actually motion for actually to follow. Uh, oh, because Calvin, snap. in part of military training, for no reason, they do teach formal dance. <laughs> it's, it's an actual thing they do sometimes. So Calvin also has moves because Calvin's parents, he's half black and half Hispanic, and he knows moves from both cultures. <laughs> and will um, start off just in a more, starts off kind of not nervous, but like, checking the beat rhythm you can see like Calvin's hyper focus on like understanding what the music vibe is and then takes the lead in a almost like close but also fun dance kind of like half goofy but also never keeping taking like eyes off happy and settling in the moment um and as the uh, the the rhythm takes you and uh, you share this dance and this emotional connection and uh, this intimacy. Uh, the night um, continues on and uh, leads where it may or may not. Uh, we will we will let that be part of the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Jay was getting ready. He's like, okay, are we reacting this out? What are we doing? Um, <laughs> drinking my Nuka Cola. <laughs> Nuka Cola. Um, so uh, we, uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a, a quick break right here. Yeah, yeah, because it's, uh, yeah. Uh, so we'll take a quick break. Um, <laughs> I love oh, that. Chat, oh. chat, chat's like hilarious right now. For those that know, hashtag mage hand. Oh my gosh, not mage hand. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah, so we are going to take a quick break, like five, ten minutes. Uh, so go ahead, go grab a drink, snack, um, facilities and all that. Um, some tissues, maybe. I don't know why you would need tissues. Um, and we'll see you back here in uh, just a minute. So. Um, wait, 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 wait. There we go.
Okay, welcome back. Thank you uh, for sticking with us through our little short break. Um, so before the break, uh, before the break, we well actually uh, let me let me rephrase that. Um, so we are playing Vault, a Fallout RPG set in the Texas Commonwealth. At this uh, for this story in 2075. We are going to do a little bit of time jumping though. Uh, so we, this is the origin story of Sugar Cyrus, formerly known as Calvin Harris. And you are getting a peek into the backstory of how Sugar Cyrus came to be. Uh, so before the break, we did see our players, uh, we, we saw our characters getting to meet one another at a music festival, a little spark of romance happened, and of course we do have a name for the band that Sugar was a part of, the Paper Mache Hearts. So, uh, a few, a few months have passed since the festival and since Ashley and Calvin met and the band has grown quite close. They've played at different nightclubs all over the country, different festivals, um, making somewhat of a name for themselves. They are getting gigs more regularly here and there, not big names just yet, but they find themselves in a in a college town playing at one of the local bars. And um, after, after a couple of sets and you take a break, you end up mingling in with the crowd. And Calvin, you see a familiar face who is, who's got a pretty, a pretty young girl, not young, uh, but a pretty girl on his arm and surrounded by a bunch of other dude bros, as it were, uh, dressed very nicely, dressed in collared shirts and khakis. And um, they look like young college students, but with some affluence. And one of them with the girl on his arm is Trevor. And I'm gonna like, and we've already performed or we were uh, you're in between sets, so this is your break. The, another band is taking taking the stage while you take a break. Um, I'm gonna come over. I do believe, I do believe, is that an old man in the building? What? I thought that was you up there, dude. What the heck? How you been? What's going on? What's good? What do you mean? I told you I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live the dream. And one and behold, it seems like even you decide to walk through my dreams. <laughs> Man, y'all sounded really good up there. How y'all, like, what, what you been doing? How y'all been, where you been? I haven't, Every, uh, you... so the question is where we haven't been. Ever since that festival, we traveled. Me and the band, Ashley, my, uh, my girlfriend, as I point oh. over. Yeah, and the rest of us, we just travel, playing music, driving around, venues, concerts, clubs. Just everywhere and anywhere. It's having fun. You know, I'm, uh, I mean, yeah, you know, your dad was totally looking for you and mom. I didn't tell him where you went or anything, but. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. She's been living the dream. Like everything yeah. we ever talked about. And um, actually, I was hoping to ask. So my mom and dad, they're okay though, right? Yeah, I mean, your dad's pretty pissed, and uh, you know, but they couldn't really put out missing persons because you know you're an adult and whatnot. But uh, your mom seems pretty sad. Yeah. yeah, I've been meaning to write, but last thing I need is for dad to find a way to track me down because Lord knows he'll find a way. Yeah, well, she looks like you've been doing all right. You know, I'm going to school for business, so yeah, if you're ever looking for a manager. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying we're not, but honestly, we're just playing music. We don't actually have any idea beyond just playing and seeing what happens. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, if you, if you want, like, I could look into getting you, I mean, my friend, uh, my friend, his dad 
his dad's in the music business and lots he knows a lot of key players and knows like how to get you know you into into some better paying gigs i mean i love this place you know this place is awesome but it's a college bar man like y'all are y'all are good up there y'all should be playing i mean especially with your girl looking smoking hot y'all could be playing at uh all kinds of venues you know so i mean yeah i mean if you if you could set up a connection like that i mean i feel like i've already used my one big favor for you uh helping me get out of town but that'd be no problem man like just give like i'll take my cut you know and you know i'll be I'd be, heck you know uh maybe i can come to the, some of the shows and you know fire up the keys get you a little I mean, key action and we've got some got solid sets but i mean it wouldn't hurt to add a little bit of a keyboard added to it i mean if you can set up those connections i mean actually let me run it by the band first and see what they think and i'll let you know yeah yeah sure yeah, uh, why not? yeah let me let me run it by them i mean if you got time unless you got somewhere to be no 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 um we're just, you know, hanging out, enjoying the, enjoying break from, from studies and whatnot. And so, yeah. yeah uh, do you actually, uh, what's the name of your friend or the dad? That way I can like give them actually more information than I got a friend. Mm -hmm. like, uh, oh, here. Uh, dude's name is, uh, hold on. Write it down for you. It's Jensen Ackles. Jensen Ackles. <laughs> like, <laughs> The apple, Jensen Ackles? <laughs> no, I mean like, uh, yeah, it's not that guy, but it's ah. a distant relative. Same name. Makes sense. I, I was waiting for it. I heard it. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. And I'll head over to the band, kind of like taking this paper that he wrote the name on. Hey, uh, hey guys. So, first off, remember that best friend I talked about when we met at the festival, the one that went to school. Well, uh, yeah, that's him. He ended up going to school for business, and uh, he's apparently liked our set, and he says he knows a guy that might be willing to set us up for at least some meets for some big wig stuff. Um, this guy he knows, Denson Ackles, is pretty connected to some people. But I told him I'd run it by you guys before I, like, say anything concrete because you know we're we're a band was i with him near that so i'm yeah. like ashley's very quiet in this moment hmm. i don't know uh i mean that sounds pretty cool i mean it's your childhood friend right yeah i mean the only reason i was able to get out and play music was because of him and i mean I mean, he's been going to school and he's always, his family's always been a little more connected. And I mean, those connections, it's kind of what we need, right? That whole potential next step. And I mean, if we want to add some keyboard to stuff, he said he want to help out, but I mean, more than anything, connections, right? He seems kind of like a dick. I mean, okay, he's not the smoothest person to deal with. But he's always had my back, like, since forever. I don't know, I mean, like, maybe we see where it goes. Yeah, there's nothing in solid, just he can set up some meets and we can just kind of see where those go. I trust your judgment. Um, I might be a little too critical of people. Um, I didn't get a good first impression, but if he's important to you, then what you want to do in regards to him can be important to me. I love your honesty. Yeah, so, all right, so we'll go ahead with it. And again, if, if we don't like what's happening with it, we can just always just cut it up there. And it doesn't hurt, right? I don't we'll know about the keyboards thing. He doesn't look like he has a rhythmic bone in his body. I mean, I guess that's, that's judging based on looks, but you know, it's like he was also a dick. So like, I feel like you can't be good on the keyboard if you're a dick. 
he's not bad on the keyboard. I mean, he definitely wouldn't mess with some of our stuff, but if he want, if he can set up a recording studio for us to get an actual album out there, I wouldn't mind having us some keyboard on one or two songs in an entire album, especially if it's with a good record label. The album does sound really nice. See? I, I mean, one or two songs at most in an entire album, record label, and people will hear us not just because we're traveling. People will have us in their homes. Mm, I like that. Yeah, that sounds pretty freaking cool. I mean, all like, everywhere. Yeah, right? Like our logo and our... Exactly. I mean, everyone has to deal with people like this at some point in order to make that happen. Right? At some point, I mean, based on everything I learned, when you're in this business, at some point... You just have to be smart about it. And I mean, I'd rather be a friend that I can trust than a stranger I don't know trying to offer this opportunity. Yeah, I guess that's true. As long as it's still about, you know, us and our music and we don't let it get like too wrapped up in. That's the focus. Like, it's not about the money, but it's definitely about getting, I want to play at a bigger venue. I mean, these bars are amazing, but. Imagine playing at the festival we had on the main stage where we met. This is the way through. Sounds amazing. And we wouldn't have to eat bar food all the time. We could afford to get like a fancy hotel and and like order order room service or something. No more sharing mozzarella sticks, right? We can each get our own appetizer of it. So Ooh, we can yeah. I mean, what do you guys think? Ash? Yeah, we just gotta be careful. He's a business person. Like, we just have to be careful. I'm, I'm in. I, I trust you. You trust him. That's all that matters. I'm gonna I'm I'm let him know and see what we can do to set something up, all right? This is gonna be awesome. Main stage, here we go. And Helen will, like, head back, going, like, thumbs up. To Trevor is coming close, like get close. we're in. Like they're, they're Dude. up for it. You set yeah. it up, make it happen. Right. All right. Hey, hey, shots. Shots, 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 shots all around. Uh, I'll, I'll still pass on those. Oh, come on, Calvin. Still don't drink. Yeah, that's fine. It's all right, it's all right. I mean, you gotta you gotta save that voice to yours. How about you? Ashley, Ashley, Ashley takes two shots. Yeah. All right. See, your girl knows what's up. Your girl can drink. It's all right. Yeah, uh, we should probably get ready because we're gonna have to go back on stage soon. But um, set up those meetings, man, and let's make it happen. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Uh. All right. Cool. Yeah. We'll uh we'll get it set up and uh. Uh, you know, I'll get my keyboard fired up and, uh, yeah, we'll lay down some tracks. This is going to be awesome. We'll be rock stars, just like we always dreamed, man. Living the dream, man. Like we're here. <sighs> and Kevin will head back towards the stage with everyone to kind of, like, get ready for our next set. Um, all right. Uh, and uh, you put on another stellar performance. There are people, um, uh, there are people asking for autographs and trying to find all your. Would there be social media pages? Yeah, you know, trying to. Ask <laughs> I was going to ask if there's cell phones. Like, <laughs> cell like, phones? do I have text messaging? Am I like texting my parents? Like, oh, yeah, I guess what's going on. There, there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's forms of communication and whatnot so um mom says yeah, hi yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and uh you do you are able to uh make those connections through trevor who does get you and to listen to people who are very hard to get a hold of in the business you are be you are able to get in front of them and get auditions and um and perform in front of them and you uh you end up getting signs trevor does help and is on some of the tracks with the keyboard and plays and is around every once in a while and he usually gets kicked out of some of the uh, 
the venues and um, some of the things that you, some of the performances. Sometimes he, uh, when he's playing, he um, drinks while he plays, takes uh, various chems like Jet. And uh, yeah, but you are all able to still do what you do and do it well. One night, however, at a particular, after a particular show, and you all go backstage and you're celebrating, Trevor's stumbling around. It's been, it's been several months. Trevor's stumbling around. And uh, yeah, man, that was such a friggin', that was great. Um, how much do we make off of that? Hold on, let me check. And um, you can see he's like trying to hold up and, and count like the sales, the ticket sales and everything that they brought to him. Uh, I'm going to look at this in the morning. Um, hey, hey, uh, hey, Victoria, you want to come back to the trailer? Yeah, no. Nah. All right. Well. Call it a night, she's kind of like, mm, no, you've been drinking, not tonight. No, <laughs> kind of no. like Link Victoria's arm, like, no, she's uh, she's staying with me right now. Yeah, you've had a little bit too much drink. You probably need to go sleep that off, sweetheart. Yeah, true. Uh, just get some rest, man. Like, uh, great night. You know, excited for the next one. Yeah. All right. I'll take a look at the numbers in the morning. Um, and he, he leaves his notebook on the on the uh, coffee table. It's open. Um, it's backstage in y'all's little uh, yes common area where you unwind and whatnot. <laughs> You're gonna take a little peek see look. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> looking through everything, not even subtly, just like bye. Um, yeah, you pick up you pick up the notebook and. Uh, you can see there are drips of alcohol stain here and there, but you can see you can flip over through back uh, some of your some of your the backlog of all of your performances and whatnot. Just skimming over, so the numbers aren't really adding up. There's money missing out of what you all usually take from home and uh what you're supposed to be getting percentage wise it looks like a big chunk of the money is yep missing from... this? i'm like doing all these calculations i'm like are you seeing this like, what, what do you mean seeing what what's going on none of this is adding up what do you mean adding up? i mean it's probably just what a bunch look of... at it do it yourself here i pass this stuff over <laughs> All right, maybe his note taking isn't the best, as I'm like, Calvin's in the same thing. But okay, no, because that night was it. And then. Make it make sense. I'm waiting. Well, yeah. Okay, no, because then we had, and then. Okay, that's a that's a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe there's notes missing or something, you know. You really think that? I mean, maybe he like some missing notes or maybe just miscounted a few too many times. A lot of times, yeah. It's like Calvin keeps going through further and further. Okay, every time. Every single show. Like at first, I'm very cocky about this, and then I soften up and move in and kind of like put an arm around him. However, you want to deal with this going forward. You'll see, like, Calvin's hand is clenched hard. And then Calvin kind of storms out. And Calvin is looking for Trevor. I'm assuming I would head towards where our 
arrangements are to try to find it. All right. Um, so Victoria and Mark, uh, they weren't there for this exchange. They, uh, so after you kind of shoot Trevor away, um, they ended up going back to their dressing rooms and are getting, um, winding down and whatnot and changing and, uh, showering off from the performance. And, uh, yeah, so as you, um, Calvin, as you are walking down the hallway and you get to his, uh, to his doorway where his dressing room is and you open the door, he is face down on the couch, just snoring it out with, uh, but he does have a bottle of alcohol in his, uh, in his hand that's spilling out onto the floor. Um, Calvin will go over and snatch the bottle from his hand and pull him, like, turn him over Dude. so he'll roll onto his back. What, man? And then we'll what? pull up, the alcohol in his morning? face. Like, what the fuck, dude? It. Yeah, what, what the fuck? As, like, we'll pull the, the <sighs> notebook of the stuff in my other hand and just kind of chuck it towards him. Yeah, what in the fuck have you been... <sighs> I'm going to give you one chance to explain why the fuck none of this is adding up. What? The, oh, the room's spinning. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. Listen. <sighs> you know how it is. Like, I'm, I'm the manager. I've deserved to take, I set all this up. Like, Calvin takes him by the collar and slams him against the wall. Oh, dude. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. Manager, where you shave off the money? That's not what we agreed on. It's what I deserve, man. I've heard all the managers do it. Like, that's that's how this industry is. And I'm going to punch him as hard as I can in his face. Okay, uh, unarmed attack, uh, which and, I believe uh, your modifier is a, a zero, okay, so you get 2d6. Uh, so I'm roll 2d20. Adding my um, luck of the thing to, what is it, stack the deck. Oh, okay. Because I want to make sure this hurts. Um, so that is two successes to make to hit okay uh it, the difficulty was a one so you do hit go ahead and uh are you well i guess are you using aim as your minor action to oh, make yeah. sure you hit him in the face oh, okay yeah. so you won't really need to roll your location to hit just roll your damage which is 2d6 plus uh, yeah. five five and a six okay so oh, okay uh five five and six uh which there are no, no effects because my hand effects died. but it's in his face he does not have any covering uh on his face so that is going to deal three points of damage to his face <laughs> gosh well i'm punching uh, i'm gonna like let him go so that he'll stumble oh, fuck, man did you break my nose i thought oh. about it Look. i'm gonna put this very plainly you fucked with Fuck it with me is one thing. But this is basically my fucking family. I don't care what you do. I don't care where you go. I don't care what happens from this. When the sun rises the next fucking day, if I see your face, I'm breaking it. This is my band too. No. You wouldn't have gotten anywhere without me, man. Fuck you. Fuck your deals and fuck everything. You are the worst person I have ever met to have done this. And honestly, I'm not even mad at you anymore. You know, fuck it. I don't give a fuck about you. This isn't your band, so I want you gone. You can take all your bullshit deals with you, too. Fuck. Just get the fuck out. Man, whatever, whatever. You think you're gonna, you think you're gonna be shit without me? You know how many people I know? Do you know? Do you, <laughs> forget your fucking label deal. Forget, <laughs> forget all the, the fucking tour that you've got going on right now. You're not gonna be able to book shit without my name on it. The next words out of your mouth better be "I'm leaving" or "So help me." Fuck it, I don't need this. I don't need your money. It was good while it was locked. It was good while it lasted. I can go fucking make money anywhere else. You know why? Because I'm smart. I got talent outside of this bullshit music. And as he's talking, Calvin pulls out the 10 mil that he keeps on his waistline and holds it under his chin. I said the next words out of your mouth. Better be I'm leaving. Uh... 
right. Go. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Calvin keeps it pointed at it as he waits for Trevor to walk out. Ashley's like right outside the door. <laughs> like, creak! <laughs> listening <laughs> um yeah so uh uh calvin or not calvin some of that uh trevor like stumbles like sober has been sobered up a little bit from uh the punch in the face and the um the rage and the sight of the gun um he's still a little bit he's still a little bit inebriated but sobered up quite enough to grab his jacket um and his bag and um you know uh right right as he's grabbing the door the, the door handle you know <sighs> thought we were gonna i thought we were brothers thought we wanted the same things that girl music it's got you all twisted up wrapped up it's never gonna <laughs> you're never gonna get fame if that's what's important to you man i don't want to hear another word you're not even worth the toilet paper i wipe my ass with so keep walking yeah fuck you too he will uh he will uh slam open the door And uh, kind of like uh, see Ashley standing there and walk out a step. You still got my number. If you want to be with uh, someone with real money, real potential. He'll keep walking. And he'll exit. You will hear a, a gunshot as Kevin has fired the bullet into the ground. I run into the room and just kind of melt into Kelvin. Gonna try and pull the pull a gun out of out of his hands. Um, Mark and Victoria will, you will hear their doors open and they both, what the fuck was that? I fucked up. I trusted him and he fucked us over. What? Who? Where? And, where's Trevor? And Calvin like reaches to the side knowing where the notes were and just tosses them across the floor. He started skimming more and more. Deals that we get lied about the percentages we're supposed to get, how much we're getting paid in the front end. We're still making pretty good money. Like, you didn't think the to way. ask the rest of us what we thought first? This man's been stealing from us for months on everything we did. Getting drunk at shows, getting kicked out. Fuck, disrespecting your... And I let I let him in. It's okay, it's, you know what? It's, hey, look at me, look at me. We're doing, hey, we're doing okay. Like, yeah, let's, this is, phew, but like, we're doing okay, right? Like we haven't, hasn't ruined us or anything. We can, we can get through this. We can move on without him. It's fine. Because he's fucking right. All of our deals were signed through him. That's what all the paperwork fucking says. None of it's signed to us. Paper mache Hart's not signed on any of it. It's all, it's literally his name on everything. Yeah, you should have ran it past the rest of us. Now what are we gonna do? We're fucked. We were fucked either way. You've seen the way he handles these deals? If anything, our name's getting dragged through the mud behind him. It was only a matter of time before he blows this, all this to fucking hell. Everything we thought we dreamed of would just be worthless. We'd be the band 
that is known for getting drunk at shows, for doing shady deals. And God knows how creepy he's been with, who knows what else he's done. Just remember, remember how we started. Remember when we started. We don't, I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this. We can, let's just do what we're good at. Yeah. We've made it, I mean, our fans, our fans are going to back us up. They love our music. Like, fuck, fuck corporate. Fuck the label deals and people are going to buy our music and people are going to support us. We don't need that shit. Our album's supposed to release, and you know, that motherfucker's on my goddamn cover now, too. And he's gonna keep getting royalties on it. There's nothing we can do to stop that? We can't just pull the plug on it? Not if you want to be the people who chose to back out on a deal with a multi-million dollar record label, then... I can do that. No one's gonna work with us again. We'd be underground for the Screw rest of our them. lives. Screw them. Screw them all. We got into this as rebels, right? Like, yeah. Well, the bunny would have been nice. We should have talked this through. I mean, I'm here for y'all, but I think we can figure I... it out. I guess we'll have to figure it out, right? Fuck it. We got this far. Sure, he made connections, but fuck it. We're the ones who played the music, right? Mm hmm. Like, we don't fuck. need him. We don't need his. Ugh. Just like thinking back to that few minutes ago, it's like. Just, you know what? I'm honestly, I'm. I'm thankful. I'm. He needed to go. It's not ideal, but like. It's back at square one. Hey, square one was pretty cool. Sorry, guys. And we still got each other. That's what's important. This is, we're the ones that made this. Our music being together that's what's important right this is our family yeah mache hearts right okay let's keep playing Uh, do what? Go ahead. I was just going to settle in the moment. Out of words. You are able... Uh-oh. Sorry. Thank you. I did not notice that. <laughs> um, the... It's hard when there's like two mice and three monitors. Um, so the... Uh, a few... A few months go by again and you are able to finish out your contract obligations with where you have show bookings and Trevor doesn't seem to have as much leeway and as much power as he had said. You're still able to get bookings. In fact, there is grand openings all over the Commonwealth for vault tech. People are flocking to various vaults all throughout the Commonwealth, all over the country. Um, 
and people are going there to view the facilities and sign up, sign their families up to be able to get into one of these exclusive vaults in case the war progresses to a dangerous level. It's the next best form of security for your family. But you're able to book a tour of several of these vaults. And on October 23rd, 2077, you find yourself at one of these vaults. This particular vault is a performance. There are not only you, but several other bands have been booked for the occasion. In fact, um, there, there, uh, there's bands that you've played with in the past and toured with in the past and met along the way, some friends, um, some people that you actually looked up to before, but now you are playing alongside and with them in shows. And it's uh, this particular one is known as the Battle of the Bunker. And you all are touring the inside the facility. This is one of the newly opened vaults that you've not got a chance to see before. They are deep underground, heavily fortified with steel. And you see everything is very clean and neat and organized. And you can see that there are multiple dozens and dozens of rooms um, for families to live comfortably in the case in case of an emergency there are living quarters and they are stocked to the t with food and amenities and security and everything somebody could need in the case of nuclear fallout and inside the vault they are setting up a stage in the large common area there's a stage and they are setting up uh, different music equipment and lighting and seating for people coming that were also touring the vaults to sit and enjoy the concerts and the performances. Um, and that's where you find yourselves at this moment. You are free to roam about the vaults. And um... so we're not like too close to performance time yet. No, it's still set up time. All right, cool. So like most of our music equipment should be in our like our lounge area for the time being, right? Cool. So then, yeah, we're, um, I believe we'd just be like lounging in a comfortable area, just kind of dealing with that pre-show jitters. God, these vaults are... This is wild, right? Yeah, like... Like this is a weird time we're living in. <laughs> like things just keep getting, you know, like it just it's a lot. This is a lot. It is, it is. But also, we're on fucking tour. <laughs> Without that guy. Ah, oh, we made it. Like we're not just back, we're back better than ever. I wonder if they let us get some of these cool jumpsuits. They're <laughs> like, I mean, eh. Like blue's not really my color, but they're kind of cool looking, right? I mean, if you can get <laughs> a suit, dye the color later. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, no, should... I'm not there yet. Ooh, maybe, maybe they will give us some kind of a deal if we wear some of their suit, like some of those, some of their jumpsuits during our performance. Maybe oh. you can make some money off that. Yeah, a little like jumpsuit promotional thing, just just for the fuck of it. Yeah, <sighs> really cool. Okay, I'm in for that. That does sound pretty sweet. Right? Just all of us just blue jumpsuit up. <sighs> <laughs> We'd look ridiculous. It's cool. It's fun. Right? <laughs> like, I don't know. I could just picture the next album, which is all of us in suits walking out of a vault, like, dun dun dun. <laughs> maybe we can get maybe we can get a promotional deal with Vault Tech. Like, we already are on tour on tour with the vaults. Maybe we can get an even bigger like sign on with them or something. Why not? I mean, what, what do we got to lose? Tell them, hey, sign, give us a deal. Worst case scenario, what? They say no, we're going into the rest of their vaults anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like huh. that. 
call, I'm going to go see if they, if I can like talk, find somebody to talk to and see if they'll like, give me a couple, I'll flirt if I need to, but um, yeah. You, you got it boss lady. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go keep an eye on her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, please do, please, yeah. please, please do. <sighs> see y'all in a minute. And he, uh, so Mark walks off with Victoria um, with her bubbly self, uh, her drummer energy cutting down. Stop this so this this all seems kind of safe. I mean, that's the Isn't idea. It? That's the whole point of a bunker is to protect you from like, you know, in Texas, they got the ones for tornadoes. They try to have shelters for other things. This is and not just a shelter. Like this is a place you can like live in. It's it's kind of nice, kind of, I don't know. We've been traveling a lot and stuff and uh, yeah, this is. It's definitely cleaner than we usually get to stay at sometimes. <laughs> That's for sure. You can so... see, uh, <laughs> you see uh, a young couple that um, is touring touring the vaults and they are pushing a baby stroller um, along and the baby drops its rattle outside of the stroller um, and it goes rolling rolling down over to uh, and it it just taps on the boot of Calvin. Mom oh, kind of looks I, up. oh <laughs> sorry. I think so. No worries. And like well like most can I motioning to give it to the baby? Oh yeah, yeah, no of course. Adorable, and like he hands the rattle. Um, are y'all with the the bands, or are y'all signing up to? Um, yeah, no, we're uh, we're part of the the tour. We're touring vault locations, playing music, doing our thing. Um, you guys planning to stay here? Is that like? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, honey? And uh, well, I mean, just I don't know the way things are going with the war. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to, you know, get up on, sign up on the waiting list, just in case. We've got a little one to look out for now, so can't be too careful. Yeah, that's, that's, that makes sense. We got a little one on the way, you gotta do what you can to build that future for them. Yeah, kids are important. <laughs> I hate for, I'd hate for her to grow up down here, but better than the alternative, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the idea. I mean, as it stands for uh, us, we get to just travel, do more music. I mean, we don't have to worry about anything. Just the open road and beautiful venues and figure it out from there. Well, no, um, it works for you. I'm happy for you both. Actually, I'm happy for all three of you. Looking at the little one, <laughs> look at you. Look kind of like coyly try to like move him away from them. Like, oh, you know, uh, as you got to come, come sit down with me. Come. Yeah. Take a seat. The waves of the people. So, you know, speaking of like settling in and, you know, having that sense of like, I don't know, sense of home at least for a little bit. Um, yeah. So, uh, do you have your dollar? Do you, do you still have your first dollar? First off, pulls it out of a little pouch. Every show I keep it on me. Okay. So, um, so I finally figured out how to do that. Like, I know you kept showing me and I kept like not getting it and everything like that, but like I kept practicing and so I, I pull out. I pull out, um, you know, it's not my first dollar. I didn't actually end up saving my first dollar, but like, you know, his first dollar I made a little hard on and like it, you know, kind of matches in size. And, and I kind of like take yours, set it on like a little coffee table in front of us, take mine. And then like, I also, um, you know, kept practicing <laughs> and, um, and I pull out another dollar fold it up as a heart but it's like half the size and I just kind of like pop it down on the table with the other two oh, you made like a little mini one 
Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 Ashley. Um, man, I something's wrong with my bass, my bass drum. I think that uh, it's it's got got a big freaking gash through it. Can you help me go get my uh, my extra, my spare in the in the in the van? Uh, right, right now, like right right the second, just. Oh, um, and then you see one of the sound guys comes up to Calvin. Hey, uh, can we get a sound test from you on the mic real quick? Um, yeah, just one one moment and I'll, I'll be right there. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're, we're gonna be going on pretty soon. I couldn't find anybody to give me any of the stupid vault suits, but yeah. Um, is this something you needed to say, Ashley, or do, can we do it till after? to get this all sorted out. Um, just seems kind of important. Uh, just, um, so like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Maybe this isn't the right. Mm. So that was a cute baby, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about all that? Like, you know, the idea of, of It of starts to like baby. send me dawn on Calvin, the dollar bills. Hey, the baby. Uh, I kind of, I mean, we got, we're on a time limit. I'm coming in a minute. <laughs> First off, no, this is amazing. Can, can we talk more about this after? Like, I, we're gonna, we're gonna be parents? Yes. Oh my god. And you see like Calvin starting to reach for something as like the other guys still tell him to come. Dude. I, I I got a surprise for you after the show. I have a surprise of my own. So you're good. We're good. Um, Everything's we're, good? We're beyond good. We're we're wonderful. And then like Calvin's like, it's like after we'll talk all about it. We'll plan. If we need to choose a vault, we will. And then Calvin starts kind of like going off to do the thing. Ashley. I'm, I'm, coming, coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, like pick up the dollars. Oh, what was that all about? You okay? Um, yeah, yeah, good things happening. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. really good. Hmm. Y'all are extra lovey dovey lately. Hmm. A little glowy too, maybe. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my gosh, no! Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, we are gonna have to get a little paper and mache heart onesies. Oh, what is this gonna do to our tour? Oh fuck it, you can breastfeed backstage, it'll be fine. Um yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um cool. Okay, well, let's go get my oh shit, shit. that was my nice sorry. Uh yeah, let's go get my drum. It'll be it'll be fine. Um yeah, oh my gosh, congratulations. I'm gonna meet Dan. Yeah, a couple months in, or like I've known for a little while now, just kind of didn't feel like the right time to, I don't know why that was the right time. I don't know, there was just like a moment Aww. and it was cute and like, I was like, okay, here's the time. Okay, anyways, let's go, let's go get the things taken care of. Uh, and um, you can see just outside, as you get outside, to uh, and you walk through the parking lot, there are crowds starting to pour into the vaults and you get past the crowds and you can see um, that Mark is out there getting a couple of extra, um, an extra couple of strings and things that y'all would need. Um, and you make it out there and climb up onto the bus. Inside the bunker, people are starting to pour in, starting to take their, uh, take their seats. People that were touring the vault are starting to come back out, instructed by some of the security, and they are starting to line, um, line up and take their seats as everybody is in, um, getting ready for the show backstage. Alvin, you are doing your mic checks and tests and whatnot. And like while doing that, like, all right, mic test one, two, and like reaches into the pouch where the dollar was and then pulls out this little case and like opens it and looks at the, the ring. Fuck you, dad. You said music wouldn't bring happiness or future. 
I found it. And then, as you're looking at the ring, you feel a crumble, a very deep rumble in the ground. Everything starts to shake. Debris starts to fall from the ceiling. It gets louder and louder. The rumble gets louder and gets closer. Outside, Ashley, in the bus, you feel this even more intense and you see this big cloud, this big wall cloud coming toward the bus. Very quickly, inside the vault, everything, the, the electricity goes black. Stuff starts to fall from the ceiling. All you can hear are screams and panic and everything around you starts to fall and you can barely see there is smoke, there is debris and dust everywhere. And the rumbling continues and you find it hard to breathe and you, you're, you're choking, you are clawing at your neck, trying, trying to get air into your lungs. Everything, the pressure around you is immense. And then all of a sudden something hits you heavy, hard, and everything goes black. You're not sure when you come to how long you've been out. There's this ringing sensation in your ears still. You don't, when you start to come to, you don't hear screams. You don't hear the rumble, debris falling. You don't hear any of that. It's quiet and dark. You're not sure how long you've been out. Hours, days, <laughs> weeks. Your throat is parched. Everything aches and hurts. And there is a big uh, concrete slab that is pinning you to the ground. Help, help. <laughs> Your voice echoes out to the chasm of nothingness inside this face that's dark. Uh, Ashley? <laughs> Hear the echo, Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. No response. <clears throat> Vicky, Mark. And no response. Can I get free of this lab? Um, go ahead and do an athletics check. Athletic strength test. I know it's not your strong suit. But. Stack in the deck to use luck, as always. That is a four. Um, that's, oh, yeah, two successes. Um, you start to push against the slab, and you're noticing it's not giving. You're trying to push it up against, uh, push it. Um, up off of you um, and it's not making it's not giving at all but you're able to after some moving around a bit you're able to find out that you can slide out from under it underneath it as it's no longer pinning you as heavily as it once was I think while sliding out I will notice that the case that had the ring is kind of like nearby like reach to get it Put it and what's remaining of my torn clothes. Hello? Limping my way. Is anyone out here? You can see a sliver of light just barely coming through some of the debris from where, if your directionality serves you right, would have been where the entrance to the vault is. And just through that little bit of pouring in of light, it's just rubble and debris, and you see skeletons lying everywhere. Not dead bodies, but skeletons completely decayed away. 
Ashley? The rat roach comes out. The largest roach you've ever seen, slightly glowing. You're almost not sure what it is, but it is a massive roach crawling toward you. Do I see like a weapon, pipe, metal rebar? You do body. see that there are several bits of rebar um, and uh, even chair legs like that you could easily break off if, if you wanted to, wooden chair legs. I'm just gonna grab the rebar that's nearby and just like, if it gets close enough and then I'm just gonna try to swing at it. What the fuck is this? Um, go ahead and roll your attack. Uh, these two, so I'm gonna pop the deck again. Uh, two successes. Okay, that hits. Uh, you don't have to roll location because it's an insect, a small insect. Um, go ahead and roll damage with a uh, tire iron. I have the stats for that. It is, we'll say it's tire iron. It's 3d6, 3d6 physical. Um, two, two, and a five. Oh, dang. Um, yeah, so two, two, and five. Uh, and the tire iron is considered. No qualities. Okay, uh, so that's five points of damage. So yeah, you take you take it, and it's just barely glowing. You take the you take the rebar, slam down into it. It completely explodes, and you can see glowing goo and bits uh, crunch out everywhere. Oh, I need to get out of here. Can I keep going? Is anyone? <clears throat> Is anyone still in here? Attempt to navigate my way. If I can not do that sliver, that sliver is not accessible. I'm trying to find another path. Um, as you're wander, as you're making your way through the darkness, trying to get to that light, go ahead and make a um, what is it? Agility. Uh, agility. Uh, agility athletics. I know it's usually strength, but we'll do agility athletics. I'm stacked the deck anyway. Uh, that's my nerve. That is two successes. Okay. Uh, you um, you start to climb up, and you climb up. You start climbing up through the debris to get to that light source, and your hand um, your hand slips on something, and you hear the the soft tumble of a rattle baby rattle falling down and at that sound you know, we will like panic climb at the remembrance of what happened before everything and will rush out through the light Try. you come up out of what was left of the entrance of this vault and what you see before you is nothing like what you went into completely barren. There is this haze in the air. This smell of the air doesn't seem quite right. The vehicles in the parking lot have rust, have started to rust, and several of them are turned over. You can see your, your tour bus has been completely knocked over onto its side. Immediately rushes to the tour bus and tries to see if I can get through, if not the door, if it's on the downside, then I would assume the back entrance or the roof entrance to get in. Uh, the back the back window of the bus is completely shattered out and several of the uh, windows along the side of the bus are completely shattered out. There is glass everywhere. Everything's covered in dirt and dust and you climb into the bus and every there's stuff everywhere strewn about everywhere immediately gonna try to ashley are you in here and seeing if i see any bodies at all hoping that i don't you start sifting through the rubble inside the bus and the first thing that you see after lifting up the bass drum case that seems very worn at this point. It's got um, a lot of wear and tear on it, but you lift it up and you see foot bones connected to a completely, a, 
completely, um, there's no skin. It's just a skeleton leg. Just the leg? As you lift up further, it reveals a skeleton underneath the piece. And what is a skeleton wearing? Clothes are in such disrepair. They are tattered and worn. There's shreds of it left. This was very close to a blast site and not a lot survived, including what was on this person. Ashley. Ash. We'll start to climb out. Just look around. You, uh, as you start to climb out of the bus, your, uh, your foot slips on something and you look down and it is a brochure. It was your set, your, um, your tour list of all the vaults that you were supposed to hit after this one and where you would be touring next. Shakily, like holding that and like half folds it. I will try to look around again, but also knowing it's our tour bus, uh, Calvin is going to search one of the compartments where he knows he stores his gun. Uh, you can use a, uh, if you'd like to, you can use a luck point yes, to please. find something that you would want. To using a luck point to find my 10 millimeter and then we'll look around the rest of the bus see if there's something maybe someone hid or something do i see any other bodies um there uh inside the bus you don't find any other any other skeletal remains outside the bus with the jumbled of car, the jumbled mass of cars strewn here and there. There are bodies everywhere, or skeletons at least everywhere. But not only one inside the bus. They're gone. <laughs> you, as you're having this moment of realization that no one's here, you look up and you can see the reflection of the rear view mirror, with the reflection staring back at you with the tears streaming down your face, it looks different. Your skin your skin looks weathered and shrunken in. You look down at your hands and start examining them now. They too have lost a lot of mass and texture and you are very, you're a lot thinner and paler in color than you remember. And I starts clawing at my own flesh, trying to like wake myself up. As you begin to claw, you do make scratches, and some of your skin starts to peel off from the from the immense pressure and um, friction that you're putting on. No, and then we'll take the gun and just hold it. This is, this is a nightmare. This is, this is a terrible dream. That's all this is. And then we'll prep it. I just need to wake up. I just need to wake up. I just need to wake up. And like hesitantly starts trying to pull it up towards my head. Just, I, this isn't real. You hear a scream 
coming from further down the parking lot and a another scream and it sounds like gunfire going off going to immediately run towards it you see a young woman with a gun and something that looks human but isn't human something that you usually only saw in films and movies that has skin more similar to you now than human flesh is going and is trying to attack her and she she fires off a few shots and that where we are going to call it tonight. I'm so sorry I made you cry. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. All oh, these sessions. Like, I was like, trying not to cry for you. <laughs> um, Ooh. Yes, so, uh, Thank you all so much for tuning in. I didn't want to give any hints or any, like, we didn't jump back to Ashley for reasons. Because you know, she, maybe she's done. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, so thank you all so much for joining us this evening for this special episode of Vault, uh, Sugar Cyrus's back story. Um, we really do appreciate it and happy, happy one year anniversary to, for us starting this stream. It's been such an amazing ride and I'm not ready for it to end. So, um, yeah, so you can find us, um, and tomorrow, actually, I know we usually only stream on Mondays, but tomorrow we have Tipper's backstory. So you can tune in tomorrow at the same time. So 6 30 PM Pacific, uh, where we will be diving into Tipper's backstory and that will conclude our um, character backstory flashbacks and we will get back to our regular campaign uh, not next Monday but the week after that because next Monday we are doing an overseer um, an overseer one shot with a bunch of the overseers uh, from different streams all over the TTRPG community. Um, we're going to be streaming on Weave the Tail. So next week on Weave the Tail, um, be watching the socials for that. It's be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so my name is uh, April Hill. You can find me at stiletto underscore assassin on Instagram and stiletto DM uh, on Twitter. Uh, let's give it up one more time for our wonderful performers. Uh, Jay. I mean, hey, it's been a day, but I'm okay. It's Jay, casual. Find me on all social media at just too casual and casual creativity on Twitch, variety streamer, entertainer, and writer and game designer, ready to publish some things. Um, you'll find me this Wednesday over on DM Screening as I do the next cycle of DM conversations. Um, you'll also catch me on Building Light call that Thursday after that doing a one special one shot for Gilding Light, where I will have my wonderful girlfriend here, who is also going to be on that. And then the next episode of Creators Assemble Ages and Mix, where I'm using some of my deep breath content, where it's the anime inspired retro futuristic urban fantasy using all forms of anime inspiration, where I'm playing a class inspired by Dragon Ball Z and a species designed after Attack on Titan and all many kinds of great things like that. So stay tuned for all those wonderful things. I have been, I was once upon a time, Galvin Harrison and the free word human and the ghoulish nature has now consumed me. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and of course <laughs> our wonderful special guest, Beth. Hello everyone, I'm Beth the Bard everywhere at it's Beth the Bard. Um, I am I am the writer of She is the Ancient, a gender bent curse of Strahd guidebook on DMs Guild. Uh, and I will also be on uh, The Inspectors this Thursday over on Gilding Light, DM'd by DC Lasserre, uh, who's secretly five kobolds in a trench coat. Uh, amazing person, amazing DM. Uh, so you can catch me there or come say hi on Twitter because I really like making new friends. And thank you for like inviting me on for this because that was awesome. 
Yeah, we're here to yeah. talk about it emotionally. <laughs> oh no <laughs> you know so you know how they uh so in marvel movies you know how like if you stay after the credits you get that little extra Ooh. um yes here's your extra <gasps> sugar after helping <laughs> the damsel in distress and getting this ghoul you don't know the name of it but getting this creature off of her she kind of like she freaks out looking at you looking at it looking at you and she runs off and you're left once again but you look down on the ground you're still pretty close to the bus but you look down on the ground and you see one folded pre-war dollar bill just sticking out from underneath the hood of this car. It's folded in the shape of a heart and tucked just inside of it is another little folded paper heart with our little sugar written on it. Thank you all again for tuning in tonight. We will see y'all tomorrow for Tipper's Backstory. <sighs> Everybody go, go get a drink, get a little wasted, love on everybody, love on each other. And, and yeah, um, we'll see y'all again next. Whoa, what happened? We'll see y'all again next time. <laughs>